So I think we've got that rubber on there a bit roughly, but it'll work. Now I was just having a thought whilst we were falling around doing this. If we're having a bee fridge box top bar beehive competition, got to remember that you have to, you can't just drill a bloody hole in an old fridge and hope the bees turn up and let them build a nest in there because that would be a bit messed up and plus you go to jail. Because if you're actually having a proper beehive in your backyard, you have to have removable frames. So one of the rules of the Bush Bee Man Fridge Beehive Project, well, that's a bloody big mouthful and I'll have to redo that. But anyway, the project has to have removable frames. Normal, you can have it, make it a top bar hive where you just have the top bar and the big girls build their own um, honeycomb off the top bar, but as long as you can remove that. This one's gonna have old school, well, not old school. These ones are gonna have actual whole frames so, but that's not part of the rules. The rules is it has to be inspectable by the bee inspectory people, whoever they are. Okay, we better get this bit of nonsense out of here. We don't need any of this stuff. We'll just pull this out of here and see what, how that bit of stuff's hooked there. Oh, the things that go on in the bush, honestly. This is why I have lots of kids out here in the countryside, because we do, get bored and do stupid shit. <laughs> I, say, I should take that back. I mean, having kids isn't stupid shit. That's good fun. It saves you getting bloody lonely when you're old. Plus, if I hadn't had a kid, this show wouldn't exist. Ah, what's the bloody point of that? Oh, come on. That's not bloody cricket. <sighs> Oh, there's a lot of snook. Oh, that's not good. <sighs> you see, another bloody complication. What's that? Is that the that's the firmest anything? Yeah, the girls will build something in there for sure. That's all right. We'll cover it up with something. There you go. See, every fridge is different. Anyway, you'll find that out if you join this competition. <laughs> They're all a little bit different. I think we're undoing the light cover here. I think it would be a bit radical, wouldn't it? Imagine if we left the light in there and you opened the door and the light come on. That would freak the shit out of the ladies, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway, we'll just get all this crap out of here. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to seal that off, but we might be able to just get some stuff. <gasps> There's another hole for them. I might just go and get myself a wizzo machine and just cut that off of there. Because that's... Otherwise, we've got enough holes already. <laughs> I'll make another big mess. Wait there. I'm just crazy all for the love of you. It won't be a fancy wedding. I can't afford the carriage. But you'll look sweet on the seat of a bicycle built for two. Here we go, here we go. I think this fridge is going to work again. <laughs> anyway, they're pretty blub and clever, aren't they? The people that made up fridges. Pretty jolly smart. Where the hell does all that crap go? I think we'll just unplug it and stuff the wires back in its own hole. <laughs> what do you reckon? Then we'll find some way to plug that up. You go on wires. Oh, yeah. Come on. Piece of junk. Maybe this is a silly idea. Perhaps we'll just cut them all off. They should fit under there, surely. Chuck all this crap out of here. Anyway, I reckon that's surplus to requirements, this bit. Might be worth a dollar. I took that back to the recycling dudes. You reckon I might get a dollar for that? I'd be only, then my fridge would be only be four dollars. <laughs> Where are we up to? Three. I might put that back on there, I think. I don't think I'll like that after that. Oh, oh, oh. oh what's on that prey? This might be a bit of a pipe dream. 
Hey, that'd be a bit that'd be a bit rough, wouldn't it, if I invent a competition and I can't even get it to happen to myself. <laughs> oh, at least you'd have at least you wouldn't feel so bad if it didn't work out. Anyway, <laughs> I figure we gotta make well there's a few options, but I reckon I'm gonna make it so is that this is just a one level a one level top bar beehive, which is technically what they're meant to be anyway. Exactly how I'd put a super on it would be rather interesting, but I don't think I could. You could have a honey super freezer, couldn't you? You could make, you could make this section the honey super. They could they could nick in there and put the honey in that bit. I mean, they like, no, they'll probably put honey in this bit too, but if they got that all full up, hell, I'm getting ahead of myself, but that could be cool. We might do that, we might, I don't know what we're gonna call that, freezer section. A little bit of a rough way to get a level. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if I put a text mark across there, and we'll see what happens. We'll cut a little hole and that's if I can find the texter. I wonder where I didn't put that away yesterday. That's probably what happened last time I was doing this. I couldn't find a texter. Uh, don't you go taking any more of my texters, you bloody criminal. <laughs> Uh, kind of looks level, I reckon. Yeah, that's what it looks level. We might just cut one first and see. <laughs> uh, of course, if you were bloody clever, if you're like my father in law, you could probably cut the wood out and make a cool proper fit, but. That all sounds like too much like hard work. Whew. Now I don't think that's purposely designed for cutting plastic, by the way. <laughs> so if they um So if you're doing this as a school <laughs> If you're doing this as a school project. Don't forget your safety glasses. What did your parents always tell you? Do as I say, don't do as I do. <laughs> That's how it goes. Oh, look at that, look at that. And then I reckon if we get the floor, and that will sit in there nice and flush. I reckon that looks like it could work. If we can, of course, if it's one big solid bit, you've got to jam it down there somehow, but. Now nah, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, won't we? jam the board down there somehow. That's not gonna give for shit, but anyway. Well, the only problem will be, if we get the floor in the bloody thing, we'll never get it out, will we? So we better do, we better prep the floor, prep the floor, prep the floor before we actually get it in the dolly hole. Because the last one, I, last one I fooled around making to these, I actually could pull it in and out, because it was a bit bigger fridge. So I think that would be good. But anyway, that looks alright to me. We'll do the other side, and um, then we'll cut the the fake floor. Fake floor? It's not really a fake floor, but no, I don't know. The artificial floor. No. What do they call that? Oh, I know what it is. In them bloody modern house books, they would call it a floating floor. I reckon it'd be kind of cool if people actually did post some photos of insanity, wouldn't it? Or am I just in fantasy land? <laughs> oh shit, nearly knocked it over. I don't know whether we need to worry about that bit. Shave the head of it off. 
think we're going to have to put a little bit of gap filler on the edge of the floor because we don't actually want the gels under the floor. Although, no, because then you can't get to them. So it's all good. <laughs> Mind you. It Well, I reckon that's looking promising. Now what we're going to do is find a bit of board to actually cut out to put in there as a floor. Being that we're in something sort of modelled on the Paradise box, but now my brothers in Finland don't get excited. <laughs> I'm definitely trying to do you out of business and you have your cool design, but I'm thinking that we need to actually get some ventilation in this very sealed box. So I'm reckoning if we actually have our artificial floor and we drill some holes in the bottom of the fridge, so then the condensation can drift out the bottom. Because if you'd seen my retraction, you would know that you can't have too much condensation inside of a sealed foam box, which this isn't technically a foam box, but anyway. So, am I rambling? I am rambling. The cameraman's nodding. Yes, I'm rambling. But anyway, we're going to drill some holes in the bottom, and we're going to put in a fake floor, and we're going to cut a bit of a thing in the fake floor, and put a mesh in the bottom of that, and hopefully the ladies can have a bit of air that way. I remember as a kid, before they had air conditioning in every house everywhere, we had these bloody little ceiling, little friggin' fans reek, reek, to cry and blow a bit of air on your sweaty ass body in the middle of the night to keep you cool. Anyway, I got all industrious and thought, bugger that, and went out and I bought myself a ceiling fan and put it in my room. And when I left home, I actually got my mum to give me half my money back because, well, because I was going to take it with me because it was my fan technically. And she said she'd, she said she'd buy it off me. And we come to the arrangement that she would give me half the money that it was worth, which I thought was kind of all right. But when I think about it now, I'm a bit bloody ridiculous that I was quibbling over the 20 bucks or whatever it was. <laughs> but hell, it's funny, isn't it, family? Isn't it, isn't it cool or messed up or everything all at once? <laughs> Just having a look at my handiwork. My poor dear father-in-law, this is the sort of shit that just drives him to despair because, you know, he would have measured this and drawn a beautiful line to actually drill the holes in a beautiful straight line so they all were coolly lined up and just looked perfect. But the bush bee man, he just drilled some holes and when he has a relook, it's like, well, why not that perfectly straight? The cool thing about it is no one's actually gonna see it. So. So uh, this is going to be my floor. This is a bit of marine ply that um, shouldn't fall apart with moisture, hopefully. Um, but hell, I don't know. Might have been a stupid choice. They're bloody hard to work with, by the way. I've made an actual box out of this stuff too, and it's a jolly, it's jolly hard stuff to hook together. But for a floor, it might serve the purpose. So there's a little bit of a hint for you if you're actually buying some stuff for this project. Marine ply is very durable, but not that easy to work with. Now, if you're wondering, if you're wondering about that poor old caravan in that shop, don't get excited, that wasn't the caravan. I'm not going holidaying in that poor thing. It's supposed to be a honey extraction unit if I ever get my shit together. So I've seen some pretty rad looking caravan honey extracting units, but that might be a bit, it, my extracting unit might be a bit bush bee man. <laughs> oh, come on, tape measure, be bloody cooperative. I wonder how you meant to do this properly, like if you were a proper measure up person. Uh, 4.90 I reckon. I reckon we gave it a crack, 4.90. My trusty pencil. I reckon about 4.90 would be good. I reckon about 8.90 will be a good start. And then We'll give it a bit of wriggle room. Well, it won't give us much wriggle room, but... Oh. Yeah. Find ourselves a trusty ruler. I don't think that's quite straight. <laughs> Hang on, we'll find something that is. This looks like a straight edge. What do you reckon, boys and gals? <laughs> It's a bit light on in the increment department, but still. <laughs> I 
It's just got a bit of a whoopo in there from the last cutting exercise. Is that a technical term? A bit of a whoopo? <laughs> Probably not. But anyway, it's easier than a handsaw. I wonder if a bloke could find the instruction manual where it says certain thicknesses at certain speeds for your jigsaw blade. I bet it does. But anyway, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I think I'm going to turn it up. <laughs> I think what we're going to do is, because we've got this going on, we're going to make a bit of an air vent in the bottom of our fake floor. How big an air vent do we make? Or do we make two small ones? One big one? Half a little one? Six of one and half a dozen of another? That's the question. So anyway, we'll put it in the middle, I reckon. Roughly. So if we go 400, I reckon. Where are you going? What did I do with the pencil? Any idea? Did anybody out there see where the pencil went? God! Oh, it's safely stored down here. <laughs> so I don't know, I reckon we're going to make our little hole. <sighs> Shit, what do you reckon? How big should we make it? 100 by 100? Yeah, we might do 150 by... So that'd be 150. I reckon 150 long. 50 there. Oh, that's pretty big. And then just now, we got to decide how wide we're going to make it. Boy, I reckon it needs to be too ridiculous. I reckon about 100 would be plenty. Wouldn't it? Well, maybe not. That's still pretty skinny if you go there and there. Oh, that's sorry. We'll do 200, because then that would be 50 either way. That doesn't look real square. Not that it's crucial. Can you imagine if it was crucial and the little girls were in their beehive and they get their little tape measure out and go, bloody hell, he was a bit rough, he didn't even get that straight. <laughs> we're buggering off because nothing's straight in this box. <laughs> oh, again with the paddle. Oh, I'm going to cut this bloody cord off. <laughs> Shit. Come on, you piece of junk. What is going on with that? That's like the Fonz, isn't it? Give it a tap. I'm not going to touch it again now that it works. <laughs> oh, shit. Are we filming underneath how shit it is? <laughs> Probably. Yes. I don't know. There's no mercy given to the poor old codger. <sighs> Shit, don't cut the cord in half and be no no more filming going on today then. Are we good? Oh shit! I think my blade's getting a bit blunt. <laughs> I think we're nearly for an upgrade. Now we're going to get some mesh. Hey, if I was really slack, I could just use one of the Paradise Bee Boxes bottoms, couldn't I? Just, if I'd had any brains, I could have measured the bloody thing the right size. <laughs> but I didn't, so I didn't think of that. Well, that. That looks like a pretty fancy little air mint, doesn't it? What are you doing? That'll work. I reckon we go across there. Looks a bit like a straight line, but hopefully it won't be that crucial because this is going to be the underneath bit anyway. I'm just thinking the worms are biting here in Oz. If you don't know what the worms are biting means, it just means I'm starting to get hungry. Because of course if you 
you know, if you are, if you, I guess that means you've got bloody what are they called? Roundworms in your in your belly. Back in the day, I just got to find some screws to screw it down, and then that'll be good. Uh, as per with most of these projects, it always takes a bit longer than an anticipated. So as I was saying, I'm starting to get the nibbles up. The lads offered to make me a chicken sandwich, so I reckon we're going to go and have some sell some lunch and maybe a little bit of refreshment, and we'll come back and see what happens next. <laughs>